Yo guys, welcome to your 18th PSD to WordPress tutorial and in this video we're going to walk through the footer.php template. Wow. Alright guys, so all this junk over here is the footer.php template and uh, remember this is the stuff that's dumped at the bottom of pretty much every page on your WordPress site. Um, so for example again if we go to the index.php file you can see at the bottom here we've got the get footer function which is calling that template footer. So anything in this footer is going to get dumped wherever we see that get footer function, right? So most of this stuff we don't really need. Um, if you take a look at this footer right over here, then you can see most of it is just the wrapper, UL tags, and then this image at the bottom. So uh, we can get rid of a lot of this. The first thing I'm going to do is get rid of all this info here because we don't need any of that. Um, as you can see, it's got no attributes over there, so we'll get rid of that. Next thing we want to do is turn this into a wrapper, just like this. And then this stuff here is a WordPress link, which is going to say powered by WordPress. And this one here is a link to your website. When we downloaded the theme, it asked us for our website. I put this in. And so basically, if you're making this theme for someone else and you want your website link at the bottom of this theme, this is how you do it this PHP function right here is going to output that link at the bottom of the theme. However, for this one, I don't want to do it. So I'm going to get rid of both of these things like that. Okay. So all we need to do now is grab this, these UL tags, and we're going to paste them right in here like that. Let's just neaten this up a little bit. What have we done? Get that and there we go. And over here, there we go should be fine now. Okay, so now we've just got the UL tags in there, in the image, and that's pretty much it guys. This WP footer function at the bottom is similar to the WP head. It's used by plugins and other things to load in resources that we're going to need, so it's best to keep that there where it is, okay? So let's take a look at this. There is one more thing I want to show you in a minute, but to do that I want to show you what it looks like first of all. So I'm going to go to the website this is the footer as it currently stands. If I refresh, now we've got those things in here. Now you can see two things. First of all, these links are not right, so we need to sort that out in the CSS. The second thing, this logo, the image isn't loaded, right? So let's have a look at the image first of all. You can see here we're saying, okay, it's in the images folder and it's the white logo. So why is it not picking it up? Well, it's because this right here this index, oh sorry, this uh, footer.php has been loaded in the index.php file and it's not going to be relative to this images folder, okay? So what we need to do is provide the full URL. Now I'm going to use a PHP function that is uh, part of WordPress to do this, all right? So let's go in here where the source is. I'm going to open my PHP tags and then I'm going to say echo and echo basically just means I want you to say this thing, I want you to output this next bit of information and we need our parentheses for that. And the bit of information I want to put in is a function called get template directory URI like that. And then we can put a semicolon at the end of that and close our PHP tag. And what this is gonna do now is get the full base URL of this theme folder. Okay, so it's going to get the URL up to this theme folder and then we're going to carry that, um, we need to put a forward slash there, we're going to carry on this URL with from this theme folder. So then it's, once it gets into the theme folder, it goes in the images folder and then gets the logo. All right, so that should work. Now, if I save it and come back here, first of all, if I right click this and inspect the element, then you're going to see you can see the source is images forward slash white logo. So that's going to the root of the whole directory, not the root of the theme folder, and that's why it's not working, right? But if I refresh this page now, the logo's there, and you can inspect the element, and you can see now that function that I just put in has grabbed the URL of the theme we were in up to here, and then we added in the rest of the uh, the path to that image, okay? So that's why we did that, and that's why it wasn't working originally, but it is now. So next thing we need to do is just make these, uh, this kind of gray color, which I think was EEE -E -E or something like that. So let's go into this again. Let's go to style.css, and it will be in the footer somewhere. So let's 
Control F footer and go through until we find it. There we go, footer Li, footer A. And what we'll do is just put important there to override any other rule and see what it looks like now. And now it's worked. Perfect. All right, guys, so now we've got the footer sorted. We've got the header sorted and the footer now. So in the next tutorial, what I want to do is style up or rather transfer the content across to the home page itself. All right, so until then, if you have any questions whatsoever, feel free to drop a comment down below. Otherwise, guys, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.